Hey guys, it's Theo's Creative Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to create cinematics in UEFN, also known as Unreal Engine for Fortnite. So, before we get on this video, make sure to use code THEOSYT in the Fortnite item shop or any other Epic Games associated uh, games. It really means a lot to me. It also really means a lot if you were to subscribe and like the channel and the video. It honestly means a lot. I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can make it happen by 2024. All right, so without further ado, let's get on with this video. First off, what you want to do is go to Devices and get a cinematic device. Get one and put it here, anywhere you want. And I already had this, but I'll show you how to add it. So next thing you want to do is add a camera actor which can be gotten from going to the camera icon over here, cinematic, and then click on sign camera actor, put this literally wherever. And now that you have all this, go to your content folder, right click, go under cinematics and create a new level sequence. And I'm gonna name mine test sequence, but you can name yours whatever you want. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is click on track right here. And then you want to click actor to sequence. And then you want to search for the camera you just created. So if you didn't uh, rename it, it'll just be sign camera actor. And if you did rename it, search for whatever you named it. So now you have this where you can move wherever you want. So I'm going to start off. And then you have to choose where you want to start off the cinematic you want to create. I want to start off showcasing this whole grid island, starting out with the beautiful ocean and its waves. So this is going to be very similar to an, a video editing software. So there's going to be keyframes. So what you want to do is click on transform over here, click on this arrow, and then uh, click on the pluses between the arrows under location, rotation, and scale. So now that you've done that, it, the cinematic will start off here. And I want it to move closer. So let's go to 30. Let's go to 40. And let's go here. So by 40 frames, I want it to be here. So just you have to do a little tinkering with this. Still not at its best yet. Location and then scale. And then by 90, I want it to be here. And location, rotation, and then yeah, scale. But for some reason, the rotation didn't go through. Rotation. And I'll just go here, 100. Let's turn over. All right, so make sure you keyframe all three of these each step of the way. And now you should be done. But wait, let's create a button to trigger this cinematic. And first, so this is where our cinematic will take us. It'll start all the way up in the sky over there. It'll go down, it'll go right there, and it'll go here, and then finally there. So let's make a button which will trigger the sequence. First off, uh, yeah, let's make a button. Search for a button. And just add one here. Boom, boom. And let's go here, play, and then go to your button. And then on interact, you could use anything to trigger this. There's an autoplay, there's loops, there's many settings. Just do whatever you want. This is just doing it. I'm just doing this to test it. So let's select our sequence. Remember what you named your sequence in case you have multiple sequences. So in this case, I named mine test sequence. So I'm gonna click on that. And now it should be done. And I'm gonna click launch session and get back to you on how it works out. 
All right, guys, we are in, and let's start the game to test this cinematic out. And if I helped you out, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you need any help with your Fortnite creative map, make sure to join my Discord server in the description. And me and Mark, me and the community will help you out. Anyways, let's test this out. So it starts off here, has to run in a little, but that's okay. And then it goes exactly where we planned it to go. Let's test that one more time, for God's sakes. You could use the cinematic on anything. You could do it to showcase something, an intro to something, an animation, whatever you please to do in your own map. Anyways, without further ado, that is the end of today's video. Make sure to use code THEOSYT, leave a like on this video if you haven't already, and subscribe if you haven't already. So without further ado, bye.